If you clicked on this video, you've probably been collateral damage to divorce. Here's why divorce sucks and how to get through that. So stay tuned for that. If you're like me and you've been a bystander or witness to divorce, let me tell you, it sucks. There seems to be some kind of preconceived notion that it gets easier as you get older, and that is a complete myth. Speaking from firsthand experience, divorce is very difficult on all parties involved. You probably didn't ask for this. No kid, or in my case, adult, raises their hands and hopes that their parents get divorced. It kind of just happens. It's largely out of your control, but it profoundly affects your stability, your foundation, your life moving forward. Here are some tips that helped me, and hopefully they're going to help you. Now, before we jump into that, 92% of you aren't subscribed. I'm trying to save the world one sub at a time, but I can't do that without you. So please hit that subscribe button. Now on to the rest of the content. Tip number one, tell your friends and family. So my parents divorced in 2010, and coincidentally, that was really the worst year of my life. I remember I felt so ashamed to tell, tell other people that it took me literally six months just to tell at that time my best friend what had happened. It was like I was hiding a dirty little secret that no one should talk about. Just a PSA to all parents, if your kids are going through a divorce, encourage them to speak to people, anyone and everyone. Please be honest with them and tell them to be honest with other people. Don't ask them to keep your dirty little secrets. It's just not cool and it's not right. Back to the story. So telling one person really helped me to tell more people. Eventually, I went on a tour to China and I started telling complete strangers what had happened. And perhaps it was the fact that they were strangers, there was no judgment there, they weren't part of my social circles, you know, back home. But that gave me the courage to be able to springboard that into telling other people, telling people that were actually in my circle. If you can afford to go on a trip, wherever that might be, I would highly recommend it. It doesn't have to be as far as China. I was very privileged to be able to do that. It could be somewhere local. But changing an environment is really important, I think, for your mentality and your state. Not as a permanent fix, but something just to kind of get away, reset, and then come back. Tip number two, reestablish your foundation. Your whole foundational structure has completely been shattered. Whether your parents got divorced when you're age five or 25, this is probably all you've known for your entire life. Think about how much time you spend with your parents. Seek friends and family and or other family members to bridge that gap and turn to counseling groups. Find ways to really anchor yourself, you know, and that anchor could be literally anything. Hobbies that you're into, interests that you're into. Find out what works for you and really start to drill down into it. Doesn't mean that has to be your anchor forever, just your anchor for right now. You know, it's uh, really interesting that when you start to tell your friends and family about your parents' divorce, at least in my circumstance, I had a lot of people come out of the woodworks and start to tell me about their families. And it turns out most people are screwed up. <laughs> they, they always have the black sheep in the family, the weird uncle, the weird aunt, you know, whatever. And you'd be surprised. And that was actually therapeutic to me because I just didn't feel like I was alone anymore that a lot of people were experiencing what I was experiencing. So reestablish your foundation. It's critically important that you do do that. Tip number three, understand that you are not your parents. I think for a long time, I was afraid of marriage and having kids because of what had happened with my parents. See, my perception of marriage and having kids had been completely warped. And many people have mentioned this to me before. They felt like I would make a really good father. Whether or not that's true, I really have no idea. I'm not a parent right now, and I don't know if I really have plans to be in the future, possibly. But I think one thing's for sure, I'm always fearful about crossing that bridge simply because I just don't want to become my parents. You know, many people don't know this. Rest in peace, Dad. You know, he passed away a year and a half ago. But my father was an emotional and psychological and sometimes a uh, physically abusive person. He, my dad was not meant to be a father. This is going to sound funny, but my father was never equipped to be a parent. And I know I wouldn't have been born because of that. 
Um, but he just didn't have the mental capacity, the responsibility, um, the love in his life uh, in terms of his familial love from his parents to be able to be a good parent to me. And so I truly believe that there are some parents that probably shouldn't be parents in this world. That's not something that I can judge on. That's only something that you can judge yourself on internally if you are becoming a parent. That's not for me to say that there's a perfect handbook for a barometer when, oh, you're ready right now. Oh, you're not ready. You checked off all the boxes. Now you're ready. But that is for me to say, like, do you have the right mindset to understand the responsibility that you're taking on? It's not like a cabbage or a box of cookies that you're buying from the store that you can go return, although you can't really return cabbage. Um, it's a life. You have to take that responsibility very, very seriously. And you should if you engage in that. Luckily for me, I'm not my father and you're not your father and mother and I can still forge my own destiny and so can you. This last point here is something that I really still suffer from and it's a work in progress. Understand that it is truly not about you. It's very difficult to separate those two things because divorce feels very personal because it is frankly. It affects you in a very profound and ever-changing way. But if you can survive that, and accept it, I promise you, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna go through a gamut of different emotions. You're going to, you might rage out at things and do some radical shit. It's gonna take a long time to get through those things. But in time, your wounds are going to heal. You'll pick up the pieces and you're gonna be okay. 